Today we shall discuss the chapter 9 of physics force and law of motion. First, I will introduce about the force. In everyday life, we require many effort to change the state of motion of an object. Or if an object is moving, we require certain force to stop it. So, the effort which required to change the state of motion of an object is termed as force. Or in simple words, we can also say force or pull applied on an object is called force. Force is a vector quantity because magnitude and direction both are required to mention the force. The SI unit of force is Newton, means force can be measured in Newton. In CGS system, it can be also measured in dyne, dy and e dyne. Uh, 1 Newton is equal to 10 raised to power 5 dynes. You can remember this relation. Now the second is F, effect of force. The force can change the following things on the object. First, by applying force, it can change the state of motion. Suppose the body is at rest. After applying force, it may move, means the state of rest can change into the motion. Or after applying force, the body which was moving already, it can stop. Means stop, state of motion can be changed into the state of rest. Second point, change in the velocity. Velocity means speed as well as direction. So after applying force, the velocity of an object can change, means either speed or direction or both can be changed. Third point, change in the shape. There are many examples by which we can understand the shape change by applying force. When we compress balloon in between our palm, then its shape will change. When we sit on the bicycle seat, then the springs will contract and its shape will change. When your mother prepares lump of dough, after applying force, she can change the shape of dough many times. Please balance and unbalance force. Balance force. The forces which do not change the state of motion of an object are called balance force. There are various examples in nature in which our force is balanced. Uh, suppose when we push against a wall, then the wall will not move. Why? Because uh, whatever force is applied by us on the wall, the same amount of negative force is developed by the wall on us which is called frictional force and the effort which we apply is balanced by the frictional force that is why it will not move so this force do not change the state of motion of an object so pushing a wall is an example of balance force another example just look at the picture a wooden block is kept on the table suppose two person x and y are applied full force towards each other towards opposite direction X apply 10 Newton force, Y apply 10 Newton force in the opposite direction of each other. It means first force applied by X is 10 Newton, the second force applied by Y is minus 10 Newton because force is a vector quantity. So uh, direction also matter. So this direction we consider as a positive direction. So obviously this will be negative direction. So what will be the resulting force applied by both the person? It can be the algebraic sum of applied, of applied force of both of them, fx plus fy. So 10 plus minus 10, actually the resulting force is 0 Newton. It means in case of a balance force, the resultant force is always 0 and that is why the body will not move from its initial state. In many situations, maybe the body which is moving with uniform velocity will continue with the same velocity if the forces applied are balanced to each other. Frictional force, the force which is developed between the object and the surface which oppose the motion of an object is called frictional force. Since it always acts in the opposite direction of motion, that is why it is a negative force. When we push the table with our effort, uh, then it will start moving because of unbalanced force because our effort is more than the fixed force applied on the table. So that is why obviously it will move because the net result.
learning goals is not zero and that is why the body will change in its state. See the other example, a object, an object is placed on the table. Suppose a person X is applying 50 Newton goals, pulling by 50 Newton goals in one side. The person Y is pulling with a effort of 10 Newton in the opposite direction. It means the force applied by X means Fx is 50 Newton. Force applied by person Y which is Fy. It is obviously minus 10 Newton because of opposite direction. So what is the resulting force applied on the object by both of these? So resulting force can be defined by algebraic sum of Fx and F1 and F2. So 15 plus minus 10 algebraically when we add it will be 5 Newton means plus 5 Newton the resulting force is 5 Newton it's so that the body will start moving with the resulting force of 5 Newton in the positive direction therefore the resultant force of unbalanced force is always non-zero and hence the body will change in its state of motion and do accelerated motion under the influence of unbalanced force when we apply unbalanced force on a moving object which is which was moving with a uh, uniform speed it will produce accelerated motion in that object as well as when we apply the force unbalanced force on it but when we stop this unbalanced force then it will move with the velocity which is acquired at the uh, end of the force.